Welcome to installing Python on Windows XP. So the first thing we got to do is go to python.org www.python.org uh, I already typed this before and so we'll do go to downloads in python.org uh, slash www.python.org slash download I'll cruise down here and I'll grab the Python Windows installer I will save it onto my desktop and um, you see it just appeared over there in the upper left hand corner uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it and um, I'll go ahead and close the uh, browser I'm gonna install it for all users uh, it downloaded really fast for me because it was already in my cache so I'll just take that and uh, put it in the standard location and uh, let it edit the files and and fiddle around <coughs> Okay, so we're all done. And I'm going to take this installer and I'm going to throw this in the trash. And away we go. So, if you take a look, you've got some new programs here Python 2.5, some documentation, um, Python manuals, and the ability to uninstall it. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that you can run Python in your command prompt, which is available. I've got it in a shortcut, but start programs run command this command prompt. I want to be able to run Python manually and look at all the output and I think it's a better way to actually learn how to use this. So the problem is Python doesn't work in this environment. So we're going to have to take a couple of steps to fix this. So watch carefully. This is kind of nerdy stuff and you only have to get this done once and feel free if um, you need to to uh, have someone help do this because it really doesn't, you don't have to develop any skill in this just get this taken care of. So I'm in control panel, sorry look I'm going in performance and maintenance going into system and then I'm going into advanced see how advanced this really is okay and then I'm going to go into a place called environment variables this looks really scary but don't worry about it just cruise down click on the path this is telling Windows where you want to find programs and click on edit. So now the key thing <clears throat> is to get this right. What you do is you put your cursor in here and then you, you right cursor over until you're absolutely end of the string and then you type semicolon C colon backslash Python 25. That's it. C colon backslash Python 2.5. It doesn't matter what's here before. What matters is you add C colon backslash Python 2.5 to it. And then I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to say OK to save this. And I'm going to say OK to save that. And then I'm going to run a command line prompt. So I say start run command line. And I say CMD. And if all goes well, I should be able to type Python minus minus version to check both if I can run Python and to check to which version Python I have. Okay, so now I can actually run Python in the command line of Windows. So now I'm going to run uh, my first, build my first Python program. Okay, I'll run JEdit and uh, you can use any editor that you want, but I really prefer uh, JEdit and uh, because it's a good programmer editor. So I'm going to uh, write a little bit of Python here. Print, double quote, hello my name is Chuck and then I'm gonna say print 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 so it's a little two-line Python program and I'm gonna tell it I wanna save this and I wanna put it on my desktop C colon documents and settings CSEV desktop I'm gonna call this first dot py and it'll show up on my desktop. I'll move it down here so we can see it better. So there's my little first Python program. Uh, I'll, uh, uh, and you can actually click on it and it runs, but then you don't see the output. And so this is why I like to run it in the command line. So I'm going to start a command prompt again. And I am going to CD into the desktop. And if I do a dir command, I can see the first.py command in the jedit. These are the files that are on my desktop. 
To run this small program, I simply say python first.py. And so there you see it ran my Python program. Okay, so I'll close JEdit now. And I'll show you this. Oops, make that a little bigger. The nice thing is, is you can run it, you can see the files, you can see the output, um, and you can run it over and over again. And so uh, I'll just, I just hit up arrow, I can run it again. Hit edit it, run it again. Edit, run it again. The other thing you can do is you can actually talk to Python interactively by just typing Python. And now Python is asking you for Python commands. So I say print howdy, and it says howdy back. I say 4 plus 6, and it says 10. And if I say quit, parentheses, it quits. So that's your brief introduction to installing and configuring Python and writing your first Python program using JEdit on Windows XP. Thank you very much.